All right, hey guys, it's Blue. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, guys, I'm gonna go over OBS and my settings that I use. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. But before, make sure to go ahead, follow me on Twitter, buy the merch, first link in the description, subscribe to my podcast, the Tide Pool Podcast. And also, I just wanted to mention that there are two versions of OBS, OBS Studio and then OBS Classic. Get the studio, it's a lot easier. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alrighty guys, we're in OBS here, and uh, pretty much you have your scenes here. I have lots of scenes because, you know, uh, um, I used to record lots of different things. And then here are your sources, which are pretty much, you know, what you're recording with. So as you can see here, I have my desktop um, right here. But if we go to Minecraft, Minecraft's not open at the moment, but it would be. And then I have my face cam options and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to stick with desktop for now. So pretty much you just want to go ahead, double click this right here. You can click this, add a scene pretty much, and then you can go ahead and name it whatever you want. Here are your sources, so you can just add different sources here, like your face cam, um, your game capture, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, your audio right here. Here's my mic and everything. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the settings. Um, general, it's really easy just setting it up pretty much, and I have mine on dark theme and all that stuff. There's all these different types of themes that you can go to, but um, I'm really a fan of the dark, so uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm not really going to go over streaming. That could be like a whole separate video, but I'm going to go ahead and go into output. I'm in um, advanced mode, and I go into recording here, so the um, recording path, you just go ahead and um, choose where you want your uh, videos to end up in. And I just have a folder. Um, my recording format is an MP4, um, always MP4. I I've always been doing that. And uh, yeah, um, all of this stuff, just uh, the graphics card is the encoder. And then I have the um, 1920 by 1080 is my output. Um, down over here, the uh, bit rate and everything, rate control, CBR, um, bit rate is 8,000. And then I think these are literally just regular things that were set here, so I just have them the same. And uh, yeah, keep in mind my PC is a pretty good, decent PC, so if you don't have the best PC or if you're doing this on a laptop, these settings might not be the best for you, so just keep that in mind. Going into audio, audio is really easy. Um, I got my desktop audio, which is my headset, so it just records whatever's coming out of the headset. My mic, AT2020, and uh, yeah. Anyways, going over to video, um, pretty much same thing. Um, so your base canvas is what you're seeing, so I would always have this as 1920 by 1080. Um, your output is what your um, what your video is going to be. So I have that set as both. And I record with 240 FPS, it's really clean and everything. So uh, yeah, anyways, um, since I'm recording this, I can't really change anything since I'm recording, but um, you guys can change this while you're watching this video. And also keep in mind, this will go for different, you know, PCs, laptops and everything like that. Um, so yeah, really, really simple, and I render this out in 60 FPS, but I record in 240, so it makes it look really, really clean. And uh, yeah, going to hotkeys, my start recording and stop recording is alt. I think setting hotkeys is so, so, like, I think everyone should do it. It is just so nice because um, it's great. So uh, yeah, pretty much uh, what that does is just if I click click alt it'll stop recording if i click alt again it'll um, start recording and uh yeah um advanced i really don't mess with this i really just don't even know what that does to be honest um so uh, yeah anyways that's pretty much it for my obs settings and then all you have to do is click apply and okay to set all of them i really didn't do anything so i'm just gonna click no because i didn't change anything but uh, yeah, that's a really quick overview of OBS and stuff. Um, I'm sure if you really want more um, detail, there's a lot more detailed videos out there. But those are the settings that I use. Keep in mind, again, it goes for different you know, PCs. If your PC or laptop isn't that good, then these settings probably aren't the best because these are pretty high settings since I do have 8,000 bit rate. And uh, yeah. Anyways, that is it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe, put on those post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.